my brothers and my sisters. Indeed, time flies. Subhanallah, we are done with so many fastings. Now, as time passes by, we need to realize and always remind ourselves again and again that we have to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the beginning of the Quran gives us the understanding that we have to reflect upon and that is he gives us the relationship between Allah and the entire creation. In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Allah is the Lord of the entire creation. Allahu Akbar. So Allah being the Rabb, we being his Abd, his slaves, the relationship is very, very, very clear that we as Abd, as the creation, have to be always dependent on our Rabb, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah being the Rabb, the Lord, the cherisher, the sustainer, the one who governs everything and who runs the entire creation is obviously the only one who deserves to be asked for. Allahu Akbar. Meaning that as creation, we can never ever ask from anyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the fundamental understanding that we need to have in our lives. My brothers and sisters, we can never ask anyone because there is no one who has the capacity, who has the power, who has the ability to give us anything and everything what we want, which is good for us. Subhanallah. And when I say that which is good for us, I mean that Allah knows what is good for us and what's not. Now, as the Prophet wasallam said something really beautiful, he said, A dua huwa ibadah Dua, calling out to Allah, asking Allah is an act of worship. Subhanallah, so kind of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we ask Allah, actually we ask for things that we need. So if I ask Allah, for example, for a good job, Allah gives a good job. Who benefited? I benefited. On the top of it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, apart from giving that what I ask for, He is rewarding me. He is giving the rewards for asking me. Subhanallah, Allah Rabbul Izzah. Mark these words. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gets angry about the one who does not ask Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Salam. Allah gets angry on a person if he does not ask Allah. Which also brings us to our attention that Allah Rabbul Izzah, He made it an obligation. It is mandatory. It is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ask Allah. Allah Rabbul Izzah, He says in the Quran, Udu'uni astajib lakum. Call out to me. Ask for me. So I shall respond to you. Allahu Akbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is giving a command an order for you and me to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the reason, my brothers and sisters, we need to ask only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because number one, He is our Rabb. Number two, he, is, he being the Rabb, He has the capacity, the ability, the uh, you know uh, uh, way of giving us what He wills subhanallah. Also, my brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, Something which is so kind, Allah Rabbul Izzah, He says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number 2, Ayah number 186. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when my servants ask for me, tell them, I am near to them, I listen. I, and I accept to their supplications of all supplicants, subhanallah. I give it to them. I respond to them. So let them respond to me by obeying me so that they may be on the right guidance. Allahu Akbar. 
in the hadith we know that the Prophet Islam, he, he reports that Allah said if the first of you and the last of you, the ins of you, the jinn of you were to come together at one point, at one point, subhanAllah, I want you to imagine this. Just picture this imagination. If entire, you know, human beings and the entire creation come together at one place, at one point in time and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah grants them all what they need, it will not reduce a bit from his mulk, from his kingdom. It will not reduce a bit from his kingdom. Allahu Akbar, my brothers and sisters, that's how great our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. That is how we need to ensure that we dial up Allah Rabbul Izzah anytime. You know, many times it comes to our mind that, you know what, I'm a sinner. Allah will not listen to me. A'udhu billahi min ash rajim Well, to think that way is absolutely wrong and not allowed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He listens to us. The need is, we have to be sincere. If we are sinful, the need is, we need to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are disobeying Allah, we need to shift our path and come to the path where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with us. My brothers and sisters, we need to understand the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sometimes He gives it immediately and we all experience it. We all experience it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when I ask, Allah gives very quickly, immediately. But sometimes Allah gives a little later, right? So Allah knows when to give. We need to have that belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is Al-Hakim. He is the most wise. So He knows when to give, who to give, how much to give, you know. Uh, all these things Allah is aware of. We are not, right? We are not aware of these things. So Allah gives a little later. Sometimes Allah does not give. But we get the reward of it in the hereafter. So the idea is we should always be highly hopeful in the, in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to be always be firm and certain in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah Rabbul Izzah will definitely give. Right? So this mindset, this belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives and empowers us uh, and gives us a fuel to uh, to drive our lives in a way that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dua, my brothers and sisters, is so much needed. Allahu Akbar. When we are in good situation, we need to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us continuing and make it better. Right? When we are in bad situation, when we are in tough and challenging situation, we need to realize that we have to call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help, for His mercy, for His, uh, you know, uh, bounties and, and blessings, subhanAllah. So, in the good times, we need to call out to Allah. In the bad times, in the tough times, in the challenging times, we need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the reason, subhanAllah, people, even those who don't believe in Allah, they still believe in one power. They still believe in one supreme being. And they say, you know, we have to call out to the Lord. We need to call out to God, subhanAllah. What we realize is this faith, this this quality of asking and calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very much within our uh, you know, existence, within our lives, subhanAllah. So we cannot be again, we cannot go against the nature and you know, not asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Moreover, my brothers and sisters, many of us, we actually undermine, we undermine ourselves by not asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what all we want. Subhanallah, this is a fact that we may get tired and we do get tired of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah is one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who does not get tired of giving us Allahu Akbar. My brothers and sisters, the need is that we call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mercy. 
ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Jannatul A'la Al-Firdaus, the highest levels of Jannah. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the company of the Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you the best in this world and the hereafter.